wait a minute hold up before the video starts i just want to say that like lord kitchener and your country needs you chorus needs you i need the car community i need people who definitely have more experience with cars definitely electronics car brains that have got better brains bigger than mine and better than mine and if anybody's had experience with ford and their extremely questionable electronics and if you've had this fault please let us know put it in the comments or email us at chorus at myself.com um because i really don't want to bend this i want to save this car and hopefully over the next half an hour or so you'll enjoy the video um and somebody will have a solution because i've investigated it i've got mates have garage has or electricians but you know, anyway you'll see all that in the video but come on car community don't let me down i don't want to be in this car roll the footage welcome everybody to the curse of salvage i am study and the next project car we are dealing with is a 2013 nope wait well it is but 63 plate ford monday 2 liter z-tech business i think because it's got the sat nav and stuff in um, it's got 117,000 miles on the clock, 35 mile, uh, pounds of road tax, 50 miles to the gallon, not 6 in less than 9 seconds, which uh, is quite impressive. Remop anybody? Um, no damage whatsoever on the car. Obviously, apart from the damage, it is a clean car. Dry passenger's door doesn't open first time. You've got to open it from the inside to then open it. However, the problem that it does have is mechanical. And what does that mean? I have no idea. Basically, the car will start, but only in gear and only sometimes. And the gear changes are a little bit rough. So I don't know if the gearbox just needs a service. Um, I've done some quick research and apparently the clutch release button on the pedal which is a 20 quid fix and is bolt on bolt off and the PCM which is in the front left wheel arch again bolt on bolt off in my opinion the difference between a mechanic and an idiot with the YouTube channel me, <laughs> is being able to diagnose a problem now with regards to this starting up problem and that BCM module getting wet, slash corrosion in it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. My basic thinking is when the car's dry, like it is now, it should start. So, going to, going to try it. Put it in gear. Find hole for key. And no. So this is the loveliness that I've got to deal with. And poor. Oh, why do I get the feeling that this is going to be a bit of a nightmare? But yeah, I've seen other people have this problem before, but there's no like actual fixes. But they see it just to like take, keep putting it in and out of gear. And like there, it's, it's pretty smooth, isn't it? Like that, it's just like a normal car. I mean, even going into reverse, it's there. But the last time I drove it, to get it into reverse was an absolute nightmare. Nah, still the same thing. This is going to be a battle. I can sense it already. Really can't call it gear. It's normally first or second gear where it's worked. First gear, see why? Honestly, honestly, why? 
Why would that work now? You've, I haven't even stopped the video. Two minutes, 34 seconds in. Obviously, I will probably would have trimmed this down, but... Two minutes, 34 seconds in, it's worked there. I don't get this. It's like full-on witchcraftery. And I've got eyes on us. Oh. What? Tell us. <coughs> Tell us. <coughs> Tell us. <coughs> Tell us what's wrong. Tell us what's wrong, because I don't know. Tell us. <coughs> if he does know the answer, I just wish I spoke dog, because then I would know. Oh. Well, it appears that it's one of two things. It's either the ignition switch, which, thumbs up, hopefully it is, because that's a 22 quid part, and I can literally get it off the car, go down to Euro car parts, and I can get it replaced within 40 minutes, probably. The other is a BCM module fault, which lives behind here. And that is a whole joke within itself. Well, trying the ignition barrel didn't work. The car did scream at us and say engine malfunction, which makes us think it is the BCM. However, because that's like internal brain stuff. But if this ignition switch is only having issues... Is it worth trying just to replace that for the sake of 22 quid? Obviously you can hear the car's currently running. The glove box is out. I need to park this back against the fence just in case, you know. I don't really want to unplug like this thing, which I think is a problem. Um, with the car running. And just in case I can't get started again, I need to move it anyway, that's big issues. Well, pants. That looks absolutely fine to me. Ugh. Right, let's angle this round. I have ordered a new ignition switch. That's only eight quid. So maybe it is that. If that's a uh, Okay. There we have the old ignition switch and the new one. There's a new one that obviously I'm going to pray and hope that this works. Have very little faith. I'm not going to lie to you. Forgive the camera work, but you know. I do what I do. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? So that hasn't he worked. I've started the one day up five times and it started straight away every time. Straight away. Goes into gears. Not the nicest, but you know, it's a Ford even goes in reverse. That did seem a bit stiffer than previously. Fuel light. However, the one thing... Sorry, I'm just trying them still. The one thing I have done is washing my windscreen lots and lots and lots. So the question is, has my eight pound ignition switch fixed the problem with regards to this car? Dear God, Bobby, I hope it has. I don't pray to God, I pray to Sir Bobby Robson, so just so you know. One more time with this bad boy, because I'm, I'm genuinely just impressed that it's starting because normally at that position, the engine... the engine malfunction would sound and now it doesn't turn over oh 
pants. So maybe it is the BCM. Because obviously... Obviously I have just cleaned the windscreens. Oh man, why has it got to be the most complicated things? Why couldn't it just be the cheap, easy fix that I've already done? Cars, cars people, cars. So I've had a little thunk reference the problem with this and obviously the BCM does work because the car started five times in a row, no problems until I did the wipers. There's no corrosion in the BCM box as you've just seen like four minutes ago. So really what it is going up through the pump or the washer fluids going up through the pump and that's failed. So I've ordered a new pump which has cost £11.50 so when that comes I'll replace that and hopefully it fixes it. Obviously science dictates you should test things many times. So it's been a couple of weeks since I've moved this because I had cars to get rid of. Will it start? No dings? Start straight away. So I've got to move it away from the fence and then I'm going to leave it and I'm going to cover that side of the car with water and see if any of that that's just a fuel see if any of that seeps down into the BCM it shouldn't but obviously it'll give us a chance to know if it is just water coming up through the jetty hoses jet wash things and if it starts with that then 100% changing that well I'm changing that jet anyway but yeah now with that all wet and Sydney very curious as am I I don't think this will not get I hope it doesn't anyway get in so my theory is that the water isn't getting in via like something out of there so it has to be that water jet so that's what we're getting done and I'm gonna put some bloody fuel in this because it's doing me nappering why would you make that a 10 mil and that an 8 mil it's, it's, it's just just stupid why why the way I would see if to see that what has definitely been collecting somewhere these stupid clips these stupid clips got this one out straight away this is the last one look how much water is dripping in there's always one isn't there can I get it out but hopefully I'll have enough space to actually get in oh lovely so that was fun and so is that. This is unclipped, so I'm gonna have to push that in and make sure it's fully realigned. However, to the pumps. <laughs> so this is the old one. And it does look, I don't know if you can get that on, if I can get that on camera for you or not. It does look like there's a bit of corrosion at the bottom of this pin. Ha, made in China. Obviously, new one has no corrosion in it. But obviously, to look at, doesn't look like there's much wrong with it. But hopefully, that is the problem. I didn't really think this through, but I just had to open that door to open the bonnet because just like the Volvo, it's on this side, even though it's a Ford and. <clears throat> not a Volvo or vice versa but I'm going to put some lovely plain H2O on this not loads but uh, hopefully none will drop out apart from what I've just missed there do we have any leaks? that's just whack off where I didn't fill it properly 
So while this is up on the ramp, I'm going to try the washer jets and hope it works. If not, the car is going to be stuck up on the ramps for the next couple of days, which I don't really want. I'm going to start it up now. Obviously, let things prime, let the pump work. Bonnet open. I know, mate, I haven't shut it properly yet. Uh, why the hell is the AC going absolutely mental? What the hell? Jesus, I don't even know how to operate this. Shut up. Why did that go mental and why have I got any water? Huh. That's not what I wanted, man. Why is this pump not working? Don't say them things have got to be in like a certain way around. They can it. Is me really working? No. I've got absolutely nothing. In theory, this hasn't been wet. So it should just start. So that still starts. But why isn't the pump working, man? And why was the aircon going absolutely mental? Hmm. Oh. What, my, why? Why? So no what has went through there. Oh no what has not sorry didn't come through but like on the jets. Maybe as if I um thingy this and I check the BCM board now to see if It's got water going through. Low washer fluid level. I don't even know if you could see all that there. Just trying to read through to see. And now it doesn't do it. I swear this car is absolutely cursed. So it's absolutely brimmed. It's roughly got about six litres of water in. So if it was low water that was stopping it from working, that cannot be the case anymore. Absolutely bone dry underneath so it's not leaking out. Fingers crossed. Please work. Please. Don't say engine, don't say engine. Why? And still nothing. So I've honestly got no idea why it's in engine malfunction. Because surely, unless there's residual water, I'm sweating, I'm sorry, it's like 27 degrees or something. Unless there's residual water in the electric wire, and that's working its way up now with the pump working, but surely that well, it shouldn't be in there anyway, so why would that happen? So the only two thinkings are now, um, Swap the two feed hoses round, which I don't think will make any difference whatsoever. And check the BCM connection to see if there's any moisture 
in that. At least now I'm not against the fence, or the car isn't. I can get into this bloody connector more easy. More easy? Easier. That's bone dry. Car, what is going on with you? Drenched. Not gonna lie, zero, zero faith. What? As if they are directional. So the back one's not working. Nope. Wait there, pulling it is making the front ones go, and pressing it to make the front ones go. Make your mind up. BCM, once again. I've got a few, I'm going to have to take that out and get it sent off somewhere. See, so when that comes up there... Comes up saying engine malfunction and a mobiliser fault. Have all doors locked. ECU negative response. So it's definitely a hundred percent an ECU fault with this car leak. Got to be. I'm not sure if I've been capturing this or not on the previous videos, but watch. When you turn this on before it goes to engine malfunction, immobilizer active. So I wonder if this is an immobiliser problem as opposed to the washer jet and that's just been a byproduct of it perhaps well currently the car is actually stuck up on the ramps with the immobiliser active pants this isn't exactly ideal, folks. Um, I'm starting to, like, run out of ideas. I don't really want to have to pay somebody to come and have a look at it for them just to plug a fault reader in to tell us what my fault reader is already telling us. But that might be what it comes down to, I'm afraid. We might have, uh, not the solution, but... If you look at the ECU uh, up there, it is lovely and white and crusty. Which to me would suggest that, I mean that feels like chalk on my fingers. Which would tell me that that has got water in. And water and brain electrics don't really work. I mean you can see it there on my fingers. On this bug that's slowly dying. The chalkiness of it. Way, hopefully that's a better view of what I was on about 13 seconds ago. For all this lovely chalkiness. It literally feels like lime scale. But, now what do I do? Uh, 
Well, my next thought is to get a glamorous assistant who doesn't want to be on camera and then try the jets and see if it's running over the ECU or dripping down the back of the ECU. So I'm we'll going to try that now. Transition. Yeah, go for it. Wait, he's done them there and there was no water and I can't feel anything for as far as we hang and go there. Can't see anything. So maybe he's, I haven't got a clue. So I showed that the front wipers were working, front washers were working, but the back one wasn't. However, swap the pipes around, and now the back one's working and the front ones aren't. But that's a mechanical thing, so why on earth would that matter? Like, surely the ECU can't, doesn't see a draw from the left, because if it did, it would still only work on the front and not the other side. If that makes any sense. I hope you're with us, I'm very confused. Watch. Now pulling it does nothing. So pressing it in does the rear one, pulling it doesn't do anything. So transition from lovely wet t-shirt to I'll put the old pump back on, you know, name of science. Front jets and the back one does nothing. <sighs> Buy a Ford, the said. Fix cars, the said. Yeah, I didn't realise this. Uh, it's been pointed out to us though. The rear wiper doesn't even work with this pump on. But well, why on earth would that knock the wipers off? Front ones work. Back one does not. How can a pump mess a car up this much? I think one thing this. No. I think one thing it does confirm, it's the bloody pump. I'll say this for now, I am getting pig sick of this car now, like. If I hear that go, <coughs> one more bloody time. I'm gonna pull my hair out. It's either ECU, BCM, or it's had a dodgy fuse box put in it. <sighs> but I just don't know. So I'm going to see if this communicates the battery's low on the car. And if it dies, it dies. So be it. I'll tell you this for now. I, I honestly don't know why I'm scanning this again. Because it's just going to say BCM. If it can even communicate. The car battery is currently low, so that could die at any point. Because obviously I can't start the bloody thing, so I can't get the alternator to charge the battery up. It's either the ECU's dead, dying, failing, the BCM. Or the fuses, which I don't even think I've mentioned, but there was no fuse in F10. Which everything I've looked up says it's the BCM fuse, but it's only got one pin. For where a fuse can connect, which apparently is normal, or can be normal. It's something to do with, it hasn't got to send electricity all the way around, so you're going to go one direction or something like that. So yeah, I'm getting extremely fed up by this, and I might just have to take another hit and get shot of it. I'm trying to get all electricians to come out to us, but they're all fully booked for what what seems to be a thousand years. And the longer I do that, the longer it's going to be to get another car to try this thing. But apparently, it's easier just to put bumpers on and off cars. 
So we've got three faults apparently, normally only have one. Wiper on relay storage. Wiper on relay and then lost communication with the BCM. Short of ground, but it's not saying short of ground for the door anymore. It's saying short of ground with the wiper relay. And then detected for the wiper low. And still lost communication with that. Hmm. Why? Why did the wipers just start? I haven't done the wipers. And the jets have just tried to go. Look, my hand's literally here. Surely this has got to be. My back window, don't know if you can see that. Oh no, yeah, that's spurted out a little bit of water as well. So why on earth is it doing that? Why is it test what what is this the sa is uh, is this this doing this? Because it's just spurted out some more juice there. A hundred percent. This is wiper related. How can it not be when these are doing what they want to do? Look, this isn't even up. Oh, this bloody car. Get out of this. Poor vehicle dynamic testing. I can't start the engine, mate. That's the problem. Sorry, I don't know how much you can see here. I've got this in a silly place because of the stupid sun. Can I communicate with the P PCM? The device failed to communicate with the car ECU. Please confirm whether the ignition is switched on. That looks pretty on to me. They're not flashing, by the way. That's just the camera. Please check the connection between the equipment. Blah, blah, blah. Will it communicate with the ABS? Yes. Will it communicate with the RCM? No. What the hell's the arse again? Cruise control. It had a cruise control issue when I very first plugged this in. No. Can't communicate with that. Uh, no, I just want you to communicate with it. I didn't want to... But well, truly the ABS goes through the BCM as well. Can it read the gauges? No. It cannot communicate with ACU. This 100% has to be ACU problem. I'll be honest, I did so well not swear there. So well. Now I know the parking con the parking aids used to work. Because I hate that. Nah. So the ECU's goosed, I think. I think whatever's occurred, the ECU has fully and utterly died. And once again, as I've stated in the past, whenever I work on a car, it becomes the hottest day in the year. But when I first got this car and had electrical problems, one of the first things I did was check the fuse box. I've since deleted the clip, I got dead excited because there was nothing in fuse 10 which is for the ECM. So I went, oh my god, that's clearly the fault. So I went to a local Ford parts dealer 
and they said blah 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 no it's not um, that's just like a spare thing that gets put in there just in case but as you can see in fuse 10 there's only metal on one side of the pin and he said well that's just for different spec cars like for different spec cars if we've got heated seats or something like that fair enough I left it then had more issues as you've seen I investigated this further and in fuse 1 we have no pins whatsoever which unfortunately I haven't recorded any of this so it was very annoying that led me to investigate swapping all these fuses to how they should be so since I've now pulled that fuse out I'm intrigued to see if this will still scream at us without that in Yes, yes it does. So I'll put it on screen now, but I've basically been on the beg to a local car dealer. <laughs> Literally went in and went, mate I'm on the beg, you've got a Mark IV Mondeo 62 plate, can't have a look at the fuse box. And he kindly said, aye, of course you can. So there's a picture of what that fuse box looked like. So I'm going to mirror that picture there with my fuse box and see if it makes a difference. So my fuse box, that fuse box. <sighs> pray people, pray. If this works, I will be utterly amazed. I can't see it, but science. Nah. So that's the state of play, what do I do? Do I get a second hand ECU, send it off this one, that one, off to a company to try to get looked at which will cost us 250 if I'm lucky it will be that cheap, possibly a bit more. Um, do I get an ECU kit, which will be the ECU, the clocks, the ignition barrel, door lock and BCM, swap all them over hope that it works for me I don't think it is a commons wires because the car starts when it wants I think it is an ECU problem or do our spares and repairs it which I can't do until the car actually works because people need to see the engine working uh, the car currently goes 800 quid and I'd be lucky very lucky to get that bag of spares and if I do do I clean it to show how nice it is or do I literally just bin it and get rid of it let us know your thoughts in the comments below because honestly it's been like months now since I've had this car and my head is absolutely battered but until an update video this is me Foxtrot Oscar